I was growing up, we grew, we grew up in the country, and I didn't have a whole lot. Um, my dad is very mechanical. Um, he owned a motorcycle shop when I was growing up, so a lot of what I worked on is with engines. Yeah, if a go-kart breaks, I'd have to fix it myself, and sometimes it was held together with bailing twine and stuff just so I could ride it. But... It was in West Virginia, <laughs> and I picked up a runt bicycle. Those bicycles with little tiny wheels, monkey bikes or whatever they're called. Picked one up at a yard sale for like five bucks, and I put an engine on it, and I left the bike the way it was, so it was still a pretty big size. And then I just thought to myself, I'm going to make it smaller. And then I cut the frame in half. And then I welded a bunch of stuff on there, a little tiny swing arm, and used wheels off GoPed, uh, the sprocket and chains off a of GoPed, the engines off a of weed eater. The microbike, I like that. That one's lingered. I've had that for a long time now, and it just keeps going. Yeah, I do a lot of just research on the internet over random stuff. I'll get on tangents on scientific topics or, or something engine related or some sort of hacking thing. I'll just absorb knowledge, I suppose. I normally, I'll have some sort of inspiration. I'll see a video or something that, and I'm like, I gotta do that. Or I'll do something similar or beat it or something like that. In fact, I got an idea. You got, you got a rolly chair, and there's a leaf blower right there. Do we want to interrupt this interview and <laughs> see if it works? No. Nope. Oh well. That was stupid. But now we know. Sometimes I feel like tinkering with engines, and sometimes it's that, and I keep focus all my attention on that. And sometimes it's something electronic, sometimes it's something else. It's just that it, it varies. Right now it's the Tesla coil because I've been working on it all week. <laughs> that's that's my top priority. That's what I've been researching. And I don't know. I, I saw a Tesla coil video I think I, on the internet when I was a teenager, and I just I got to build one of those. Son now and slowed slowed down my projects, but that's okay. He is a project. He's a good project. I'm forming him in, into what I want. Can you do it? Yeah, I did. I, I have always had a knack for finding really good deals and stuff. Like I'm good at negotiations, I'm good at spotting things that are worth money at thrift stores. It started at thrift stores. Um, go there and I would just see stuff that other people wouldn't recognize. And I clean them up, make sure they work, go through it, just resell it on eBay. They shake their body and hit. 
hiss like that to sound like a rattlesnake, but you can see there's no rattle. I've always, I, I've always been a really, really curious person. You have to explore things. If I see something, I'll sometimes just pull over and have to look. <laughs> I'd be the guy you want in a zombie apocalypse, that's for sure. <laughs> Uh, very resourceful. I can pretty much make anything happen with whatever I've got on hand. It's too easy now. Like back in the day when you wanted a radio, like you wanted a transmitter or something, you'd build it. People don't build them now, you just go out and buy it. You don't have to learn how it works, you just use it. Same with computers back in the 80s and stuff. You had to know how the computer worked before you could just use one. So, stuff's too easy nowadays.